Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. What's up, everyone, and welcome. In this episode, we are going to install and set up a Clam AV uh, system to scan our server to ensure files uploaded to the server are clean. While Linux is known to be one of the more secure operating systems, that doesn't mean it's impenetrable to virus attacks. One WatchGuard study has shown that 36% of total top malware cases were reported on Linux systems, and those numbers are going down. It also states that 82% of the attacks targeted web servers. That's more than enough to alert anyone about their VPS and server security. Therefore, you need an antivirus to give you your system better online protection. ClamAV is an open source antivirus engine for detecting trojans, viruses, malware, adware, rootkits, and other malicious threats. It supports multiple file formats, file and archive unpacking, multiple signature languages such as hash-based signature matching, wildcards, boolean logic, and any custom rules written in bytecode language. ClamAV includes a multi-threaded scanner daemon, command line utilities for on-demand file scanning and automatic signature updates. One of its main uses is, uh, is of course for mail servers, but we're using it here for our web server. Let's look at the agenda. Uh, first step is going to be installing ClamAV. Now I set up an AWS virtual private system. As any of you have seen, knows who have seen my previous episodes, I rely on AWS for my infrastructure. It's the granddaddy, I've used it forever, and it allows me to create some extremely complex systems for customers and projects that I work on. What I set up here is an Ubuntu 18.04 LTS for long-term support system. I used a medium version here because of the resources required. And when I when I installed this on a micro, you know, the free tier version that I usually use for um, for uh, my tutorials, um, the system was just way too slow. So this is a medium a medium server here, a medium virtual server. Now. Um, Ubuntu has the benefit of having a Clam AV uh, within the repository. So, uh, the repository. so it's, a, it's a one command install. Now, if you want to see a tutorial on other operating systems like CentOS or Red Hat Linux, I'm happy to do one. Just leave a comment down below in the comment section. And based on the interest I get, I will create those other videos and upload them. But that means you should subscribe and smash the bell, of course, so that you can be alerted when I do upload those videos. The second step here is going to be setting up an auto update for ClamAV. To ensure we have to uh, up-to-date threat protection, we need to regularly update the ClamAV database. So we're going to set that up. Now, by default, um, when you set that up, it, it runs uh, 24 times a day or once per hour. That might be too much for some people. It might be not enough for others. Um, I'm going to change it here to once per day, just so you see where it can be changed and you can modify it to however you want. The third step is to set up the scan job. It's just setting up, clam, installing ClamAV doesn't mean it's going to do anything. It means it's there, but it's just idle. So we want to set it uh, to, uh, with, a, with a cron job, in this tutorial, I'm going to set it to run once a day, but you're more than welcome to set it up in uh, some other fashion to either run hourly, mi every minute, whatever. Just remember, it's resource intensive. So again, for this tutorial, I am going to set it to run once a day. So I don't know why that happened. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do, um, as with any server, if it's a fresh install, you're going to, well, actually, with any piece of software, you're going to want to run sudo apt update on Ubuntu. Um, I already did that, actually, uh, because it's a brand new server that I just set up, and I installed Apache. Um, you can do this also with nginx, but I installed Apache, so I have the var www.html folder, and that's the folder I'm going to be adding in my script, my daily uh, check script, to, up, um, to uh, run against for... Uh, for, for viruses. So this is the command we want to run to install. So we're going to sudo apt install clamav, then we want the clamav daemon, and we want the clamav fresh clam. And I'm using the yes flag so that I don't get that annoying uh, question whether or not I'm sure I want to install this. I just type the command in. Of course I'm sure. Really quick process. There you have it. Clamav is installed. Uh, but we're not done. We want to first uh, because the package itself may not have the most up-to-date database, we want to update the database. And you do that by first stopping the ClamAV fresh clam. And now we want to run sudo fresh clam. And you'll see that it downloads the latest database. Latest signature database. It's testing the database now. And there you have it. 
So now we have installed ClamAV, we've update, updated the uh, signature database, and now what we want to do is we want to uh, start the ClamAV fresh clam. So, so what that's going to do is it's going to start as a service so that it actually regularly checks for other new signature updates, right? So it's not just that I update it once, update the signature database once, I want to update it frequently. But again, like I said, uh, earlier, it the default is once every hour. So in order to make this modification, I need to edit the etc. clamav fresh clam dot configuration conf file, and I'm going to use nano to do that. And what you see here is all the configuration settings that are currently there for Clam AV, like the database owner, the update log file, log time, blah, 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 maximum attempts. Um, and down here you see check for new database 24 times a day. I'm going to change that to 1. So you can change it to whatever you want. Again, I'm just editing this for you to see where you change it. Again, it is in the etc. Clam AV, fresh clam, uh, etc. Clam AV folder, then it, the file is freshclam.config. So once I've made that change, I'm done. You're ready to use it. Now, ClamAV comes with a CLI, CLI, a command line utility. It's called ClamScan. And uh, this is essentially the, um, the, the formatting of how you would write a command. Um, you can look at the man pages for all of the options that you, that you have in there, but the most used for me are usually the uh, recursive flag, um, so that I can just pick a top folder and it'll look through all the subdirectories, or top directory and look through all the subdirectories. But here you have ClamScan and then the options like recursive, and then the file or the directory that you want to scan. This is it for, let's say you want to do a manual scan, you can use the, the command line um, uh, uh, utility. Now, uh, you would get one of three responses. when you, if you, Let's say you scan a file, right? You'd get one of three responses. Zero would be no virus, right? It means nothing happened, there was no viruses, everything's clean. One would mean there were viruses, and that would be logged to the log file. And you can check the log file yourself, and um, you can see what that is. Two would be some other error happened. Let's say the server crashed, uh, you know, or used too much resources, uh, Clam AV crashed, or um, whatever. It just stalled out or stopped for some reason. Uh, that you would have to check your log files yourself. So we, we have everything set up. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's sort of resource intensive, and this is where um, there are two nice or cool applications you can use to sort of throttle ClamAV. So it is CPU intensive, and to limit the Clam Scan CPU time to certain levels, you can use these two tools. One is nice, and one is CPU limit. CPU limit limits the absolute CPU time, and nice lowers the priority of Clam Scan. Um, it limits the relative CPU time. So a nice command would be something similar to nice minus n15 clam scan and n clam scan. And here's this is where the actual clam scan is being run against the directory. Here's clam scan command. Then you have your options. Here's r for uh, recursive. And then here's the directory. So this is stopping at the absolute root top directory. And it's saying scan everything on the drive. Uh, so as long as no other process requires CPU time, clam scan will maximize it. But as soon as another process with a higher priority needs CPU time, clam scan will essentially lose its priority. And here's a, an example of the CPU limit command. And again, CPU limit uh, limits the absolute CPU time, right? The absolute CPU time. And a command would be CPU limit minus Z minus E clam scan. Again, here here's the limit of 50. And here's the clam scan of the actual command to uh, scan a particular directory and recursively. So we now want to set up a, a, a job, a cron job, so that it will run every day. We want to schedule these regular scans. So we are going to create a file in the root directory, and the file is going to be called, uh, so in the root directory, clam scan daily sh. It's a bash script. So I'm going to nano that. And I'm going to paste these, uh, this content in here. So um, you can set the log file. Uh, well, it's already set up for you. You can change it however you want. You can set the email message, right? You can 
change the from email, you can change the to email, and you can add one to n directories. Right? This is a list space uh, space separated list of directories. Right now, I have the var www, and so and then there's the HTML and whatever uh, web folders I have in there. If I'm going to go through recursively. Uh, www. So every, any subdirectory will be also be scanned. Now let's say that I had set up a uh, temp folder outside of my web directory for uploads and for let's say cache files and all that other kind of happy crap, right? So I can add multiple folders in here that uh, um, that uh, ClamAV would would scan. But right now let's just leave it for this. So I'm gonna and then how the script works is it loops through the list of folders here. It first grabs the f size of that folder, uh, all the gigabytes that um, exist, then uh, echoes out, okay, we're starting to scan folder, blah, blah, blah. It gives you the size of that folder, and then it runs the clam scan uh, command with recursive against that folder, and it puts all of the results in a log file. The next thing it does is it um, grabs the results from the log file. if uh, if then um, there are results, like there were viruses found, it then goes out and sends an email. So I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to save that. So now I have created this bash script uh, that can scan my www folder, um, but it's not just going to run by itself. I created it in the root, that doesn't really, it's just there. I can run it manually and it'll work. So in order for me to run it automatically or with a cron, I need to first change the permissions so that the system can run it. And then I need to create a symlink inside my daily cron folder, right? On Ubuntu, the daily cron folder. So I create that symlink and there you have it. So I have now installed ClamAV, I updated the uh, signature database. I then set it to automatically continuously update itself. Um, I then uh, went and I created a bash script that would scan my www folder and all of its contents, all of the subdirectories, <coughs> on a daily basis. So when this command is finished, there's going to be two possible states. The first state is if ClamAV has found some viruses, you're going to receive an email, as you saw in the script, uh, in your inbox with a log attached of what the viruses were. Uh, if ClamAV hasn't found nothing or something has gone wrong, for example, then you're going to need to check the uh, log files yourself to see what the actual issue is. So with that, we have successfully installed ClamAV to keep our server secure. We have ensure that it updates itself with uh, re regularly and daily again you could set it to whatever you want daily for uh, new uh, signature databases we set up a script to be able to um, scan specifically the www folder but you can add other folders as you see fit and then we set that as a cron job to run daily now you could set that also to run every hour you can use the cron tab to um, uh, call that bash script as as you see fit so with that in a very short period of time, we have increased the security of our systems. We have increased the ability to detect threats and uh, um, react as quickly as possible to get rid of them. With that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe and, of course, smash the bell to be uh, be alerted when I upload some other videos. And again, if you want to see this, uh, how you would install it on CentOS or, or uh, Red Hat, it is pretty similar, although they don't necessarily uh, all have repositories. You might have to build it from source code. I'm happy to, to create a video to show you how to do that, get you up and running. Uh, but again, just leave a comment below and um, I'll gauge the interest and create the respective video as uh, as is necessary. So, thanks. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.